The Colossus of Rhodes was a colossal statue that stood as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Its construction and existence, as well as its eventual fate, have intrigued historians and archaeologists for centuries. This account provides a comprehensive history of the myth and reality surrounding the Colossus of Rhodes, spanning from its conceptualization to its destruction. The Island of Rhodes, the Island of Rhodes, located in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea, was an important center of trade and commerce in ancient times. It was part of the Hellenistic Seleucid Empire until it gained independence in 305 BCE. The Rhodians, proud of their newfound freedom, wanted to commemorate their victory and establish their prominence through a monumental creation. The siege of Demetrius Poliacetes, the concept of building a giant statue on Rhodes originated in 305 BCE during the siege of Demetrius Poliacetes, a general and son of King Antigonus I. In an attempt to regain control of the island, Demetrius laid siege to Rhodes for over a year. The Rhodians successfully defended their city, thanks in part to their impressive navy. As a result, they decided to dedicate a grand statue to their patron deity, Helios, the sun god, as a symbol of their victory and gratitude. The commission and design, after the siege ended in 304 BCE, the Rhodians sought to create an awe-inspiring statue. They appointed the renowned sculptor Chairs of Lindos to oversee its construction. Chairs, along with a team of skilled artisans and engineers, worked tirelessly to design and build the colossal statue. The exact design and dimensions of the Colossus of Rhodes remain a subject of debate. Ancient sources provide various descriptions, but the most commonly accepted depiction is that of a bronze statue standing over 30 meters, 100 feet, tall, set on a stone pedestal. The statue was depicted as a nude male figure, holding a torch aloft in one hand and a spear in the other. Construction and materials The construction of the Colossus took 12 years to complete, from 292 BCE to 280 BCE. To create the statue, the artisans used a framework of iron and bronze plates, which were then covered with hammered bronze. The immense weight of the statue was distributed evenly across the framework to ensure stability. The bronze used in the construction was likely obtained through the melting and reworking of weapons left by the defeated army of Demetrius. It is believed that the iron framework was used for reinforcement and to support the weight of the bronze plates. Engineering Marvel The construction of the Colossus of Rhodes required remarkable engineering expertise. The statue was built in separate sections, starting from the base and progressively working upward. Once the sections were completed, they were hoisted into place using cranes and scaffolding. This method allowed the artisans to work on different parts of the statue simultaneously. Symbolism and cultural significance The Colossus of Rhodes held great symbolic significance for the people of Rhodes. It embodied their victory over Demetrius and showcased their devotion to Helios. The statue was intended to be a testament to their power, wealth, and divine favor. The Rhodians believed that the Colossus would serve as a guardian and protector of their city and its inhabitants. Destruction Despite its grandeur and significance, the Colossus of Rhodes stood for a relatively short period. According to historical accounts, a strong earthquake struck Rhodes in 226 BCE, toppling the statue and breaking it at the knees. The ruins of the fallen Colossus lay on the ground for centuries, becoming a popular attraction for visitors. Disposal of the Ruins 